Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, tonight we're going to be doing something a little different with some chicken drumsticks, okay? I'm not a big drumstick fanatic, but if they're cooked certain ways, then I might uh, indulge in a few, okay? And so we're going to try something new here. I've never tried this before. This is totally experimental, so we'll see how this works out, okay? If you guys seen some of my seafood boil videos, then you know that on top of everything else that we throw into the pot, I always throw in some andouille sausage, okay? When you throw that andouille sausage in there, man, and it boils along with all of the seafood and everything, it sucks up the flavor of that boil and it makes for a fantastic eating, okay? So if you've never put sausage in your seafood boil, try that. You can't go wrong, okay? The next morning, that sausage also tastes good with uh, eggs and toast and stuff for breakfast when you slice it up and you cook it. It just tastes real good. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to take some of those flavors and we're going to try to make a brine tonight. And we're going to brine about six chicken drumsticks in a Louisiana seafood boil brine, okay? And so the ingredients that you're going to need are as follows, right? You're going to need one-fourth cup of dry Louisiana seafood boil. You're going to need three tablespoons of white sugar. You're going to need three tablespoons of lime juice. And you're going to need three tablespoons of Louisiana seafood liquid boil, okay? Now, I would have also thrown a few bay leaves in there too. And instead of using the lime juice, I probably would have cut up a lemon if we had any in the refrigerator. So, But you got to put some type of citrus in here to kind of mimic the lemons that you put into your seafood boil. So we're going to use some lime juice, okay? All right, guys, so we got our water going at a nice little rolling boil here. And the first thing we're going to throw in is our one-fourth cup of dry Louisiana seafood boil. Okay, so the next thing we're going to throw in is our sugar. We're going to add our three tablespoons of liquid seafood boil. And we're going to add our lime, okay? So we're going to bring this back to a boil for a few minutes. Then we're going to shut it off. And then we're going to let it cool down and then we're going to add it to the rest of our water and then we'll get our drumsticks prepared. So, hey, don't go nowhere. All right, guys, so it's probably been about an hour and our Louisiana seafood mixture here has reached room temperature, okay? And so what we have here is we have six drumsticks that's been cleaned and rinsed off and we put it in our little brine bucket, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our seafood boil and we're going to pour it on top like so and then just to make sure we're going to pour a little cold water on it just to top it off so these are submerged we're going to go ahead and put our lid on it we're going to put these in the fridge and we'll come back tomorrow and we will uh, season these bad boys up and throw them on the smoker and then we'll see how it turn out so hey i'll see you in the morning all right, guys, so we got our drumsticks. It's the next day. They've been brining for about 20 hours. We poured the brine off of the drumsticks, and we rinsed them lightly with cold water and patted them dry. So here we have our six drumsticks sitting here. And I can smell the seafood uh, boil seasoning in them. It's not as strong as I wanted, but we'll see how it comes out taste-wise, okay? So let's go ahead and get these seasoned. So I have some Pam here. Uh, extra virgin olive oil pan and we'll just lightly hit these drumsticks we're gonna turn them over make sure we get all sides like so and then I'm gonna be using Mrs. Dash it's a salt free uh, herb type type seasoning blend the reason I'm using that is because the seafood boil is usually pretty salty, so I don't want to add any additional salt to the seasoning uh, at this present time, okay? So we're going to be using Mrs. Dash, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and hit these pretty liberal. All right. So we're good to go. All right, so now we're going to put these out in the Rectech Mini because the Rectech Mini, to me, gives a really, really good smoke flavor. And we're going to put these bad boys on there uh, at 225 degrees 
uh, at first, and then we're going to finish them off about 325 degrees. I just want to make sure that it, they're able to stay in the smoker long enough to get an, an ample amount of smoke, okay? All right, then, so let's head on out to the patio. All right, guys, so we're finished with our cook. The Reg Tech did a fantastic job. We started these six drumsticks off at 225 degrees for 45 minutes. And then I cranked the temperature up to 275 degrees for an additional hour. Once they got up to like 180 degrees internal temperature, I cranked the uh, temperature up one more time to 325. And then uh, you saw that we glazed three of the ribs with this uh rib candy texas pepper jelly to give three of them a sweet con uh, a sweet taste uh to go along with the rest of the flavors so we're gonna go ahead and have a taste test now we got three that hasn't had any pepper jelly and three that does okay so first we're gonna taste the ones that don't have any pepper jelly on it it smells great nice and smoky well let's see what we got here Actually, that tastes pretty good. I can taste the seafood boil inside the chicken. It's just not as strong as I would have liked. I guess next time, since it's kind of an experimental cook, I will probably use a half a cup of the dry uh, Louisiana boil seasoning and maybe five tablespoons of the liquid boil. But I can taste the boil in it. Um, so that there's plenty of uh, saltiness to it. It's not overly salty at all. It tastes very good. The herbs from the Mrs. Dash taste really good too. And of course the smoke from the Rectech is real good. And one more bite of this one here. Now the skin is not as crispy as I would have liked. Um, however, uh, the chicken tastes really good. Okay. So let's go ahead and try the one with the pepper jelly on it. All right, here we go. Yep, I like that touch of sweetness to go along with the flavor of the boil. Like I said, I wish the boil flavor uh, seasoning was just a little bit stronger, so we'll probably increase the amount that we use next time for the brine. But this tastes really good, too. The, uh, the herb flavor from the Mrs. Dash, the boil flavor from the uh, Louisiana Seafood Boil Brine, and, of course, the uh, Texas Pepper Jelly. It adds a nice little tinge of sweetness to it, on top of that, this uh, pepper jelly here has uh, habanero in it, so it also adds a little bit of heat to it. Well, I think this is a real successful cook. I think, I'm, like I said, I'm going to perfect the brine a little bit more, and we'll try it again maybe on some wings next time. But all in all, this is a really good cook, okay? Well, that's all we have time for today. If you guys are interested in a Rectech pellet smoker, check out the guys at rectechgrills.com. They got some fantastic grills out there, uh, and they got some great customer service. Uh, you can't go wrong with Rectech. 
Uh, also, if you guys are interested in some of this rib candy, this pepper jelly, you can find that on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description block if you're interested in getting some of that, okay? And of course, you can find Mrs. Dash on any seasoning shelf in the stores, all right? Well, that's about it. Head back outside and finish a couple of these drumsticks with a nice cold blue moon, okay? Well, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker. Hey, could be somebody pulling your leg. Mmm. <laughs> Good tasting drumsticks. <laughs>